Well, this is what I was doing Friday and I'm looking forward to do today. I really would love to buy new fabric, but I'm telling myself that's ridiculous if you have all these pieces of of fabric around here, use them up first. So I've been trying to use them up for years. There's so much of it. And when a, a, a piece of clothing I've been wearing becomes too worn out, that ends up into another piece of fabric to be used. I know some of these pieces are, are very small. And um, as you see, I like, uh, I like color and uh, and I like uh, prints. What else do I have here? Ooh, this is a nice one. This I love. This is a sheet that was on sale in big lots. All right, so this is what I have so far. Let's see. This takes so much time. But it's very satisfying, especially when it's, uh, when it's finished. Oops, let's see. Anyway, this this is supposed to be a pillowcase. I had an uncle who would he lived in Manhattan. He was successful. He sold musical instruments. And he would take 10 people out for, for dinner and spend $500 on dinner. And um, <laughs> But then when he did his laundry, instead of sending out his laundry to be done professionally, he would like wash his socks by hand and then he would hang them in the dishwasher to dry. So people would say that he was uh, penny wise and pound foolish. So when I do things like this with all the little pieces of fabric, I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm being so careful with this, but sometimes I'll buy an ingredient that's very expensive. You know, like I'll spend $30 on a couple of pounds of raw cashews online. But, you know, if it lasts for six months or longer, because I just need a tiny bit of a time, that's okay, right? Anyway, try, uh, save things and, and try to make something out of them. Um, recently, my neighbor gave me these, these golden things that were swirly. I didn't even know what they were, and there were 23 of them. They were, they're like this big. And his wife finally told me that they're Christmas card holders that you hang on a Christmas tree. And she asked her husband, why did you give her that? She's, she celebrates Hanukkah. And he said, well, she'll do something with it. And, and I have, you know, I only have one left uh, because I found that I could hang so many different things with it just by taking a plier and twisting it around and turning it into a different type of hook. So um, it's not just that I save things, but uh, neighbors give me things that, uh, that they don't want anymore. And, and it's fun. Um, arts and crafts. Um, I do get very discouraged sometimes, especially over, you know, relatives that have gone on to their reward. And uh, I find that there's uh, two or three things that will cheer me up. One of them is just going out in the yard and doing anything out there because nature is just so amazing and so comforting. And the other thing is to do something creative, like, you know, go paint a chair or, or find a bunch of stuff you could uh, hang up and turn into a decoration or some carpentry. Um, or, or sewing. Sewing is very nice too and it's something you could do even if it's raining outside. Cooking also, baking, creating a new recipe. So don't uh, remain in your discouraging mood 
like whatever you're doing do the opposite if you're just you know resting or sitting around or watching tv and you're depressed do the opposite get up walk around dance around uh, do a chore and if you're if you're doing chores and you're getting really tired and, and you're depressed while you're being active then do the opposite sit down lay down relax you know watch a movie um, inertia is something that is very hard to overcome and to me inertia means stopping what you're doing and changing it that's hard think about when you're eating and it tastes so good the hardest thing is stopping the eating right and also let's say you're really involved in, in some project in the yard or in the house and you don't want to stop and you know you're hungry and you know you should eat that too it's hard to stop working so anytime you have to change what you're doing that's hard but it's good for us to change and just just remind yourself if you're eating and um, and you want more but you know you've had enough you get that feeling you know in your abdomen that you're full and just tell yourself that's enough because tomorrow morning when I wake up I want to see either the same weight or maybe you know a half a pound a quarter of a pound less I don't want to see it higher because that's depressing I don't want to feel like a failure I want to feel like I'm doing better and better I'm gaining more and more knowledge I'm getting more and more healthy I don't mind dying but I don't want it to be my fault I want it to be it's my time think about it